wild monkey. <laughs> he has them too. Yeah, I do. Liar cutter. Alright. Okay, so I'm going to get that centered. And I'm going to go in with my thumb. Or my thumbs. It isn't big enough to get away with that thing. And it's okay if we even go all the way down to the bat. Because I'm going to end up pulling this up. And we're going to make a small cylinder. So finger inside, finger on the outside, kind of like you're making a spout. And I'm going to pull it up from the inside. Okay. Big piece of matter if the lips uneven for these does not matter at all. I'm gonna take this, hands all the way around, and work on closing that in and shutting it. What are you making numbers? Small shell forms. Okay, and then to put the spiral in it, <coughs> finger right on top. You can take a tool. I usually just take my finger and write it down a couple of times. Usually go three times through them and then clean them up with a sponge. For this towel. And again, if they're a little lumpy bumpy later on when they're completely finished, sometimes that adds to them so they don't look quite so perfect. Now from the bottom, I'm going to keep pushing in with the sponge hammer on the bottom. Okay. Doesn't it go against everything to make it lumpy bumpy? Like no. Right it's just one of those things that, that with doing certain things, uh, the first time, yeah, maybe. But then after you look at the end product, and then you're like, ah, oh, well maybe it was better that it had a few bumps there. Gave it a little bit more character, made it look a little bit more natural. So you it's only not spiral the top, though. Hmm? You only spiral the top. For this style, I'm going to show you another one that I'm going to do with the other version. So the, oh, this style is more of a conch style. Well, I'm actually finishing the bottom here really fast. So I can do this wet like this. Then, if I take a needle tool or any sort of bladed tool, I can actually cut this in when it's wet. And then I need to take my finger and go in an angle. And then if I go at an angle, and I do this right, I already can do my opening with it wet. Mm -hmm. And a little bit of extra fat clay down there at the bottom from squeezing it in gives me enough clay to be able to really to take that out and take that in. Aww.